start a video, stop a video, start a video again, and get all lost in what you're doing and forget your introduction. Ta-da! That was yesterday, which is now going to be today's video. So I'm just letting you know, welcome to day 14 of the 10 and 20 challenge. And here's the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, so I know that I am sitting here talking to you in the dark and it's kind of weird and there's like little streaky thingies all over my face because there's rain outside on my windshield and all that kind of stuff. But there's a big huge group of nurses hanging out directly in front of my truck and turning the light on is like turning on a spotlight. So I'm just going to talk to you in the dark for a minute until this little groupie disbands and then when they disband I will turn the light on. So tonight, um, it was my mom's birthday, so we had a birthday party like I told you we would. And um, we had a salad, which was really good. My mom made a um, Dr. Furman recipe um, salad dressing to go on it. So I had a little bit of that on my salad. It was super yummy. And then I also had a bowl of minestrone soup. My husband made pasta to go with the minestrone soup, which I did not have. Um, and that's totally fine. It was absolutely wonderful without it. It was definitely a nutritarian soup. So there was vegetables on it. And there were... Um, obviously vegetables in it, it's a minestrone soup, but there were uh, kidney beans in there. So there was beans and onions and I don't think mushrooms, but carrots and green beans and all sorts of yummy things in there. Um, so that was really good and very much a nutritarian soup. And then um, we, I had made this morning before I went to bed, I made brownies. Um, so I did have a piece of a brownie and that was very naughty <laughs> and it was also very good. So I don't put, it is vegan, I don't put eggs in it. Um, but then when I want it to turn out less sticky, um, I do put a little bit of oil in it. So in the whole entire thing, there was a quarter of a cup of oil. Um, so that wasn't very healthy, but it's okay. It happens once in a while and everyone's life, a little oil will fall, but I really am very careful about oil otherwise. Um, and none of my homemade, um, things that I make like the chocolate chip cookie cake or any of the other things have oil in them. Um, it just happens to be that this one is a box mix that my kids can actually eat. My kids that have allergies can actually eat it. and So yeah, that's not healthy at all. But I did have a piece of a brownie. Um, so I brought with me the same thing that I had already once today. Except I brought something in addition to. So I brought a salad, which basically is just um, leaf lettuce chopped up and carrots and cucumbers, peppers. I did not put tomatoes in it because I didn't want um, it to be gooey and um, scallions and then I put a little bit of pickles in a container and I brought some salad dressing in a little container. So there's that. And then I brought a bowl of soup and the soup actually is with, um, man, this group of nurses keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're not disbanding at all. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, the soup. So I actually put it in the bowl of oat groats so I'm going to have a few oat groats, which are intact whole grain oats. So I'm going to have some oat groats in my soup later. That'll be super, super filling. That'll be very good. And then I'm going to have, um, I brought my last little Korean melon that I had bought. Technically it's not the last one. There's one still in the refrigerator. Um, but my daughter asked if she could have it. So I told her that just tonight when I was making this last one, I was like, okay, Ashley, there is one left in the refrigerator. If it's still there in two or three days, I'm going to eat it. So, if you really want it, then you clean it and you de-seed it and you eat it, or else I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so, it is missing one slice because I was chopping it and uh, cutting it up and de-seeding it and stuff, and my mom was like, oh, you found baby Korean melons. I was like, yeah, here, have a slice. It's super good, and yeah, it was really good. So, my other daughter, um, I don't know if I told you this or not, she took one of them with her, um, she took two of them, actually. She chopped them up and took them with her to work, not work school she doesn't go to work um and she uh gave one to her friend and they enjoyed it and loved it and had it at lunchtime and it was wonderful and so that was really cool and i actually was really surprised at how well they turned they they're super in season considering it's not i mean it's just just the beginning of the season i didn't expect them to be nearly so sweet so anyways it was awesome and i guess i'm not going to get to talk to you in any kind of a light source of anything because they're still just hanging out chitty chatting so anyways um, yeah, I'm going to take a picture of my soup before I eat it. I hope <laughs> I remember to do that. Otherwise, you guys are going to have a boring picture of a salad. Oh, well. But yeah, that's it for me. 
I am going to go into work now before I end up being late. And I'll talk to you guys again later. Hope you had a great day. Bye. Well, good morning, everybody. You would think that it was a weekend. Like, it's light out. It's not the weekend. And I'm not leaving work that late. It's 644. So, hmm, I don't know. Obviously, we're getting really close to daylight savings. So, I'm going to, um, we'll spring forward an hour. So, what will that do? Anyway. <laughs> I'm really tired, so I'm not going to think about this right now, but if it's 6 o'clock now, it would then become 7 o'clock, so and this might mess up my wanting to talk to you guys again thing, but that's okay. It's alright. It's all good. So, I, last night, didn't get hungry for like the longest time, but then, well, obviously because I had eaten already, which is not normal for me. So then I went ahead and ate um, my soup at whatever time it was, 4-ish, 4.30, something like that. And it was delicious. Like, it was super, super good. Those oak roads are really chewy. Um, like, really chewy. And I kind of liked that in the soup. You had, like, a nice soft texture to the carrots, and the onions were nice and soft. And then the kidney beans were actually, some of them were not soft, which is fine. Um, and so combined with the chewiness factor of the oak roads, it was really good. So that was yummy. Um, I left my salad that I took and my little baby Korean melon in the refrigerator at work. So I'm going to have that left over for tonight. And then um, I am going to make that chickpea curry in a hurry recipe and uh, video that for you guys. Hopefully it ends up tasting good. I'm going to need to make more oat groats because um, I don't have any more. So need to do that. Um, I don't think that that chickpea curry in a hurry thing is going to take very much effort. Uh, it says in the recipe that one, the first step takes like five minutes of cooking time and then the second step takes like five minutes of cooking time. So that doesn't seem like it would be too complex. So depending upon how long I stay up with my kids this morning for school, I may do it this morning or I may just have my husband get me up half hour early and do it tonight before I go to work. I probably will just do it tonight. I've been super tired lately. Um, and I'm not real sure what's causing it. I mean, I know what's causing it. I don't sleep enough. I get that. But when you sleep for three hours and you wake up and you are absolutely stinking wide awake and cannot fall back asleep for like another four hours and then you sleep for an hour and a half, you know, what are you going to do? That's how much my body sleeps. That's when I sleep. That's the amount of time that I sleep for and it kind of stinks. But it is what it is. So I am not jealous per se of all the people that say they went on a plant-based diet and now they have got so much energy and they are just constantly like having all this excess energy I think that's awesome like super super awesome for them I don't actually feel that way um, I'm tired a lot but whatever it's, it's the way it is it's how my sleep pattern works at some point in time I will no longer work nights so I'm hoping that I can switch my sleep patterns back to more of a normal sleeping time frame. But for the time being, it's convenient for us. It's convenient for my family. And um, I don't know. I, I'm not antisocial at all. I promise. Like, my nurses actually love me. They really do. I'm really good to them. But I don't like working during the day. There are too many people and there's too much going on and I have zero control over everything that's going on around me because there's too many bodies and I, you don't know who's doing what and I hate having to ask hey is anybody working on this can I do this now you know I, I no I am just totally a hey look there's stuff that needs to be done I'm going to do it because I'm the one that's here that needs to get it done <laughs> that's that's totally me so it's very frustrating for me to work during the day it's very difficult but anyways so that's a little rant that you guys probably didn't need to hear. So anyway, I am going to um, finish my drive home and I'm going to hang out with my kids and work on a science project and either make the chickpea curry in a hurry to this morning or tonight. I don't know, it'll be a surprise for both of us because I don't know what I'm doing yet. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I will talk to you again um, in the next video. That'll be tonight. Alrighty guys, bye!